Hello guys, welcome to the another video. So in this video, we are going to talk about Citibank automation testing interview question. Last week, uh, when I was going through LinkedIn, I found out multiple posts uh, with respect to Citibank question. So I consolidated all those questions for you and uh, sharing this video for you guys so that you can prepare for Citibank or you can have uh, this idea like bottle interview question that were arts in city bank so let's get started so first question is what have you done is still not now as a part of your it experience it means to say like uh, your roles and responsibilities or what you have achieved automation something like scenario based question where you can answer your achievement the problem the, the problem that you have solved recently or in your past or any critical test cases that you have found and critical defect that you have found during the testing so you can explain all those things if you received any award like monthly quarterly merit award is or something like that so you can share in that next is do you know oops concept and in a framework where and how you have implemented it i have covered this question multiple times oops concepts is the core of automation and uh, the interviewer will ask you where you have implement that oops concept or any of the oops concept next is can we declare a private class obviously we can declare but you if you are saying yes then you should know the uses of or what all or where we can use the private class what is the use of that because we know that if we declare a class as private it means to say we cannot access it outside the class so you should know what are the conditions where we can use that class next is what is the difference between double equal to and equals very important question it will contain the spring uh, string literals or string intents something like that you can answer a string pool what is the difference between a string pool and intern and something like that you can explain where we use double equal to or he might or he or she might give you some question related to like he will declare one string as abc and he will ask you to compare that string using double equals or equals very basic question if you google it you will find the possible solution and answer with respect to it next is how is the string immutable you have heard about string is immutable like but why we are calling string as an immutable so the reason is whenever we are trying to change anything in string it will create a new object so whenever something is something like that it mean to say string is immutable and it is protecting our integrity of our data that's why whenever someone or some hacker try to change it it will create a new object rather than updating of or or uh, updating that initial string or initial value so that is the advantage of immutability of a string where a string gets sorted and where does the reference get sorted again very good question sorting by reference and sorting by value next is can you please explain with respect uh, with reference the memory location of how the string is immutable again the question is like whenever you are going to change anything in the string the object it created the location of that ob object in is different in your heap memory and the initial string address is different from the change string so that is the advantage like you have two different addresses and whenever you are trying to change you need the address next is if you don't want to use string class then what can be used think about it like apart from string what else you can use it depends all upon your uses like if you want to use string why if you do not want to use why and if you think like that i will use string then you should ready with the answers 
नेक्स्ट इज डिफरेंस बिटवीन बिटवीन स्ट्रिंग एंड स्ट्रिंग बफर वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन लाइक इवन इन डेवलपमेंट इंटरव्यूज दे यूज टू आस्क दी 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 डेफिनेशन और दी इंप्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ स्ट्रिंग स्ट्रिंग बिल्डर एंड स्ट्रिंग बफर समथिंग इज थ्रेड सेफ्टी और समथिंग इज नॉट थ्रेड सेफ स्ट्रिंग इज इम्यूटेबल एंड द लेटर वन इज इम्यूटेबल यू कैन चेंज विद इन दी स्ट्रिंग और दैट्स वाई वी यूज स्ट्रिंग बफर टू मॉडिफाई द सेम स्ट्रिंग what collections have you used you should be ready with that answer like which or what type of collection you have used have you used hash map hash set or list array list something like that if you have used that you can answer that everybody i mean what i have seen everybody in their framework have used the string uh, the the collection anywhere have you used hash map and if you have used it you should know where and why you have used what problem you have solved it list declaration declare a string with string values mix values or or uh, list of strings something like that where is the set used what is the uses of set so as we all know set is used to uniquely identify element in a list or in a bucket if i have uh, i mean you can think of if i need to find out number of element visible on the page so the element can be duplicate that's why we need the unique element for that purpose we need set set of element or set of window you have heard about it like what is the return type of window that is set of window window handles next is you have an application like flipkart and you want to buy a pen so you have added that item added uh, that item to item to the cart using an add to cart button but in cart only one entry for the item should be displayed with the quantity as two so what you will test think about it like i will repeat this question again you have an application like flipkart you want to buy a pen you have added that item two times to the cart using add to cart button but in the cart only one entry for that item should be displayed with the quantity as two so what you will test as a qa you need to think about it what is there any api is involved if api is involved then you will split that particular piece into few pieces like first of all i will test the api i'll check the return type of that when i click on add to cart what is happening in behind the picture so will you find out like what all api is been called what is the the request or response response of that api whether it is uh, calling two items or one item so you can identify or you can debug that thing and find out the number uh, the 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 test cases Yeah, you might write. Next is I have a table. I want to store all table data. Then which collection should I use and why? You have a table. You must be having a row and column. You want to save into the collection and which one you will use. So there are multiple ways. Either you can store number of row in hash map or hash map of list of hash maps. So think about it and uh, try to solve that. Like what collection you can use in this situation, and this must be the key value pair thing. So you know, I mean, where to store key value pair? Can use what hash map will return? Again, very good question. Entry set it will return, or it will return key value pair. It is you need to think about it. Next is how to. achieve inheritance without having an interface you need to achieve the inheritance without having an interface next is method overloading and overriding which one you have used in your framework next is if i have that my class should not be extended and the instance cannot be created by other classes then how to declare class let me repeat that question for you guys if i 
want that my class should not be extended. I do not want to extend my class. And instance cannot be created by other class than how to declare. I, you cannot create the instance, you cannot extend, you do, your class do not want to be extended. What to be used for that purpose? Very good question. How to store multiple values in one reference? Next is related to Cucumber. In which class you have glued? How many classes for glue? And what was the program line limit for your class? Gluing, you know, test nerve use. And what to glue? Your step definition and other thing. So here you can declare that. Next is how to find the missing implementation in Cucumber. Use static data or dynamic data. What was the approach? So missing implementation means to say whenever you have a feature file and you execute it. If the step definition against that feature file is not there, it will give you some exception. And there you will find out your implementation of your feature file or you can create your own. Next is how to resolve conflict while pushing code in Git. Recently, I have published uh, or I have added one thing in my community post like uh, how to use Git stash. You can use Git stash to resolve the conflict. Suppose you are working on file A and somebody has already added and you have added. Suppose initially there was 10 lines of code in file A. You two guys are working X and Y. By added five lines and five line reaches to the main main repository it become 15 and you have only 10 lines of code and you have added 10 more line in your local what will happen if you pull that a class you will get the conflict or you will get something some error so in that case what you will do first one is this you will use git stash and there are multiple approaches next is once you got the conflict at the end of uh, git, what you will use. So right now if you open uh, git you will and you have the conflict and next to that you will have a button resolve conflict and there you can find the, the added code by others. There you can uh, remove and add the uh, your code and their code and something like that you can do to, to resolve that conflict. So there are multiple ways you can. Uh, do that either you can do it by github itself or you can solve it uh, on your local machine and then push it to your branch and then difference between qtp and selenium advantage and disadvantages how can we achieve parallel execution running multiple tests for the same browser running on different browser multiple test difference between throw throws and if an exception is declared in throws and if an exception is encountered what will happen you have declared in the body or definition of that and if exception encounter what will happen in that case try catch block and throws how you use have you used that and how maybe he will ask you to write the implementation of that throw and throws explain different types of weight in selenium implicit explicit fluent weight uses of those what these weights are going to solve for you which weight is better the syntax for implicit weight what does the driver dot manage do we know that driver dot manage uh, either you can switch to different window maximize window something like that you can database testing using selenium if you are using any database like MongoDB or MySQL, you need a JDBC connection, you can create a connection string and uh, connect with the database. Then you will write a query and pass this query. Uh, once connection is done, then you can pass your query and get the data from the, the respective table. And once you get the data, you can uh, uh, normalize the data into your expectation. How will you create connection with JDBC again the same question how will you fire query so this is all uh, related to uh, selenium with uh, database difference between, between class and instance concept of selenium grid multiple nodes and errors 
so as we know like uh, whenever we want to execute our uh, test on selenium grid so selenium grid is set of thing where you can have uh, multiple browsers for chrome firefox i uh, edge or safari and you will get multiple instances of those browsers so for that purpose you need to up your hub and then node which contains number of browsers so once your grid is up and running you can link that grid to your node so there are multiple things that you can do uh, maybe i will create a video for uh, running your test case on grid machine next is how to find uh, the horizontal and vertical position of an element without javascript executor so horizontal and vertical position it means to say sometimes we need to slide horizontal slide or vertical slide and you need to find the element what I'll, what you need, you will be using you can use scroll to or you can use move to that element something you can use but without using javascript how does hash map work very good question but it needs need a in depth knowledge of uh, hash map hash map itself contains some uh, link list so very good uh, working of hash map so you can maybe i can create a video uh, like how hash map work so that you can explain in any video so this is all about city bank if you like this video just share it and click on like button thank you for watching have a nice day